Hi everyone. In the gas law packet, there is a reference to a triangle. But there's no picture of the triangle. So I'm giving a little introduction to the triangle is referring to. So if you put a number of particles, moles, and Avogadro's number like this, you can easily find what you need by using this triangle. If you need moles, I need to take number of particles divided by Avogadro's number. If I need number of particles, I have to take moles and multiply by Avogadro's number. I want to remind you that moles can also be found by mass divided by molar mass. The molar mass you're going to find in the periodic table. I have an example here, hydrogen, which is a little bit over one. And one mole is going to be 6.02 times 23 particles. And that is Avogadro's number. It's just telling you that in one mole you will find this many particles. Now there's another triangle that is not referred that I would like you guys to take a little look at. So if I put a triangle here with pressure, temperature, and volume, I can easily remember some of the gas laws by putting Boyle's law there, Gay-Lussac, and Charles. So if I'm gonna find Boyle's law, I have to multiply pressure with volume. Charles' law would be volume divided by temperature and so forth. This could be a very easy way for you to remember the three different laws. Now, if you have conversion with volume to moles, it could be useful to just find out how many moles you have. So let's just take a little quick recap on how to balance equations. So just remember that if I have an oxygen mo molecule that's two oxygen, remember to put that little number two behind there to show that in this molecule there are two oxygen and it's in gas. Same thing with hydrogen and I'm going to turn it into water. Now that is a liquid. We also have solid and aqueous that something is dissolved in water. To balance this, I need to have an even number of each on each side. So since I have one there, but two there, I can simply fix that by adding a two. Two times one is two. So that fits with oxygen. Now that makes a little mess with hydrogen. I had two times two, that's four, but I can fix that by putting a two right there. And now it is balanced. This is really good to remember since I can now say, if I have one mole of oxygen, I will then have two mole of hydrogen, which results in producing two moles of water. So if you have an equation or some information of producing something where some molecules or elements reacts to each other to make something new, you have to balance 
your equation and then figure out the ratio. Here's one to two to two. And that is going to be important when you are gonna do your conversions. So I'll recap. The triangle referred to in the gas flow package is this one, number of particles over moles and number of largest number. So if I want to find number of particles, I have to take moles multiply by over largest number. If I want to find moles, I have to take number of particles divide by over largest number. And over largest number is this large number right here, and that equals one mole. So this is just how to figure out essentially how many particles you have or how many moles I have. And then there's this triangle, which could be really useful if you remember this triangle. It could be a lot easier than remember these three laws. But essentially, if I want Boyle's law, I take pressure times the volume. Charles law, volume divided by temperature. Gilles law, pressure divided by temperature.